Hey, what's happening guys? This is going to be a short video. I apologize, but AT&T is down again, so I have no internet. I'll have to upload on my phone. So, uh, it's just a really royal pain in my ass. Anyway, today we're going to start talking about thigh wristers. There are two types, basically, of thigh wristers. The SCR, which is the silicone controlled rectifier, and the TRIAC. We're going to stick to the SCR today. Now, thigh wristers are semiconductor devices with three leads. By putting a small current through one lead, a larger current is allowed to throw, flow through the other lead. So what does that sound like to you? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? It sounds like a transistor. And it behaves in only one manner like a transistor. It behaves as a switch. There is no amplification here. There is simply on and off. That's it. There is this, so you could consider the SCR to be digital, binary, one or zero. There's nothing in between. You can't use this as an amplifier. You can only use it as a switch, a solid state switch. Think of it like that. SCRs switch direct current. We use SCRs for direct current. We use triacs for AC. So there you go. Now, the silicone controlled rectifier, and here I have one. This is the NTE5457 with a sensitive gate. Um, it can take a surge up to 20 amps. Um, its standard RMS is 4 amps. Uh, let's see. 3 milliamps is the uh, hold current and it's good up to 400 volts so that's a tough little bitch right there all right so silicone controlled rectifiers like I said are similar to a bipolar transistor which as you remember has three layers either NPN or PNP but our SCR has an extra layer so here you see P N and P layers. We have our anode going to the P layer. We have our gate also going to the P layer and our N layer, the fourth layer, is going to the cathode. So it's sometimes called a four layer, four layer PN, PN diode. At least that's what it says in the textbooks. I've never heard anybody call it a PN, PN diode. They simply say, give me an SCR. And we know what you want. Again, it only passes current in one direction from the anode to the cathode. Now, if the anode, that's our A here, of the SCR is made more positive than the cathode, the C, the two outermost PN junctions are forward biased. That's there and there. The middle PN junction, that's there, however, is reverse bias and current can't flow. Now, a small gate current will forward bias the middle PN junction and allow a larger current to flow. Does that make sense to you? Now, keep in mind, here's another difference from a transistor. When you turn this on, it stays on, unless you do something about it. Now, that be, that could be breaking uh, the circuit or using, you know, as well, breaking the circuit. It doesn't matter if you use a switch or whatever else you use. Okay. Now, we've looked at this kind of block diagram-y thing of it. The symbol for it, remember, it's basically a dual diode. So we have our diode symbol. There is our anode. There is our cathode. And then we just add a little up there. And that is our gate. So that's your symbol for the SCR. All right, enough talk, enough bullshit. Let's see it work, right? Right, ball? Right, okay. So, I put together a simple little circuit here. And all I need to do is plug in our SCR. Uh, just like that. Now, let's take a look at the circuit before I actually use it. So here we go. This is our circuit. We have our power coming in. In this case, it's 5 volts. 
we have this is a uh, 1k we'll call it R1 going into the anode of this little plate full of LEDs from the cathode we go to the A of our SCR okay and then out again this is in parallel we go to a momentary normally open switch when we close that we connect the A the anode with VCC through here which is our gate and then down here we have our cathode to complete the circuit so there's our circuit again so here's VCC up here 5 volts there's 1k run into this red wire which is the anode of our little plate of LEDs the cathode comes out and it is running into the middle pin oh good thing somebody checked that because uh, that shit ain't right there we go <laughs> it's running into the middle pin which is the anode of our SCR and then out of that it's running over to one side of the switch the other side of the switch runs back into the gate and the cathode runs back to ground so in theory touch the switch the LEDs come on da, 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 da. it works it works there you go but retouching the switch does absolutely nothing the only way that you could turn it off is to break the circuit somewhere pretend there's a normally uh, closed switch there when we press it it opens so boink and it's on it's fully on just keep that in mind it is fully on whatever amount of current your power supply is capable of putting out is the amount of current that you're gonna get here okay there's nothing that you can do to change that so I'm gonna rotate you up here real quick so you can see my power supply you can see we're putting in 5 volts and if you look let me refocus that up here we're giving her a half an amp okay but if we come back down here well how much are we giving it? Let, let's find out Here's our circuit or as they say in the EU our circuit can we get it all in there can we can we can we yeah that's pretty close there it's lit up so if I press the button do we get light nope because the power supply isn't on try it again all right we have light and we have 1.7 milliamps and that's it I mean it's pretty simple nothing much else to see there I guess right right what's that who said put it on the scope <sighs> all right Padovani I'll put it on the scope all righty I've hooked the scope up it is hooked to the anode which is also the tab on there and we'll just come and roll on up here and at one volt per division we're seeing one two and a half volts on that anode and I'm gonna press the button and we drop down to about a half a volt see if we come down here and take a look now you can see it's on everything is relatively copacetic now let's try and look at one other place let's look at the uh, cathode so I'm going to remove from here and we'll, we'll stick that bad boy in here Doo -doo -doo. I'll give it. Oh, try this here okay 
then we'll start over. Now we're not going to see anything at all on the cathode, obviously, because it is simply at ground potential. But there we go, circuit is off. Zero volts there. Circuit is now on. Zero volts there. So it's up. What I'm trying to get at, it's pretty linear. It's on or it's off. There ain't really nothing in between. So, with that being said, that is our introduction to one of the types of thigh wristers, the SCR. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. I'm out. Peace.